what you're about to see is true to the facts, real, 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 not reality, not reality TV and nothing like that. So what you're going to see is a documentary of what really goes on in the automotive world, of how people are building cars and, and what it takes to really do the job, the ups and downs, the, the gratification, the, the satisfaction, and, and the depression that follows along with all of the grief and sorrows that we are about to witness. So please follow this series along as we take you, the viewer, to another dimension of what what reality really is. This is television versus real life times and trials, tribulations. If you are offended by cuss words, for instance, you might want to leave now. If you are offended by loud mouths, leave now. If you are offended by times that are not, that are not, yeah, you understand. Watch, listen, and learn as we find out what is real and what is not. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Is this fucking box heavy or what? Gee. Oh. Building hot rod custom cars is a fucking bitch. Especially when you start out at six in the fucking morning. <sighs> fucking. Here's my heater for my paint booth. Right there. Freezing that cold in the fucking winter. And let me tell you, it sucks on a Saturday. Okay, yeah, it's Saturday. Saturday fucking morning at six o'clock. And I'm getting ready to start doing the brake job, finish it out on this car over here. What is the kind? Of, it doesn't matter what kind of fucking car it is. Who gives a shit what kind of car the fucking car is? All right, I've been doing this shit since I was about 13 years old. That's a long time, long fucking time. That's over 50. What is that? That's like 50 fucking years. What really fucking chaps my ass is people leave comments on my videos, which I don't mind. I mean, everybody has their own way of fucking doing shit. And, and you know, the way that they do it might be different from the way that I do it. But they want to leave comments of how I should do it because I'm doing it wrong. Did I mention I have been doing this shit for, uh, like 13 fucking years? Uh, I'm sorry, for, like, since I was 13 years old? Me and my brother used to buy cars. We used to fix them up, and then we'd sell them. This is back in the, in the day when you could buy a car for like $200. I don't want to go into all that. It doesn't matter. Fuck it. I might as well. So when I was a kid, we would actually buy cars that either didn't run, might need a little bit of bodywork or panel replacement. We'd go over to Napa Auto Parts. We'd buy Martin Sr. Is anybody old enough to know what Martin Sr. is? So we'd buy Martin Sr. paint supplies. I didn't have a Binks gun at that time. I didn't buy my first Binks gun till I was like 15 years old. What is a Binks gun? Gosh, do we need to look at one? Here's a Binks gun right here. This is a Binks gun. I bought this when I was 15 years old. I paid cash for it. How much was it back then? This gun was almost 200 fucking dollars. It was like fucking uh, gold back then. Um, I've had it since I was like 15. That's like uh, 1976. Bicentennial Colorado year. Right there. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the, the outside of the cup is filthy dirty. Because I use the son of a bitch. Because I fucking use it. This is my favorite spray gun, people. This is it, right here. Thousands of cars have been painted with this. Thousands. When I was 15 years old, I bought my first spray gun. I think I just said that. I was very excited. I was overwhelmed uh, that I can actually afford to buy that. Um, when I was 16, I actually uh, stripped my first car with aircraft stripper. What was it? It was a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen Beetle. Did it right there in my uncle's fucking yard. My uncle used to collect Corvettes. I didn't like my uncle. My uncle was a piece of shit. I didn't get along with my fucking uncle. But my brother got along with him. My uncle was a, a, a con artist, a scam, a, a fucking uh, crook. My jailbird brother, Mike, used to hang out with him, get in trouble with him. My uncle Jerkoff is one of the main reasons my brother went to prison for his first time. 
Even though my brother was in and out of institutions since he was 11 or 12 years old, I would say he's institutionalized to the point that he sits on his fucking ass today and doesn't do anything because he thinks the government owes him. Because he's bipolar and he's got mental situations and he's got physical, uh, physical uh, fucking uh, deformity from the government fucking him around because he put himself in prison all his life and he decided to sell drugs and, and break in people's houses and, and be a scumbag all his life instead of busting his ass and working. The point I'm fucking making here is you don't fucking know. You don't fucking know because all you do is speculate and calculate the situation when you watch a fucking video that I'm making. I'm talking to you, the guy that leaves a comment every fucking time about you're doing it wrong. This is how you should be doing it. But everybody does it different. Yeah, everybody does do it different. I might wipe my ass different than you wipe your ass. My dog might take a shit different than your dog does. Everybody is fucking different. Everybody does shit different. This is my main spray gun, people. You don't like it? Fuck off! Oh, I'm sorry. Do I have high-tech spray guns and high-tech equipment? Here's two spray guns right here. Oh my gosh, uh, uh, an Iwata, a uh, Supernova uh, spray gun. Let's look at that. Oh my gosh, look, it's a it's a thousand dollar spray gun. It's a thousand dollar spray gun. It's a thousand dollar fuck off spray gun. Set up to spray. Gosh, I don't believe it. Oh my gosh, it's a Seda Jet 5000. Oh my gosh, $800 spray gun. $800, let's look at that $800 spray gun. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's an $800 spray gun called Seda. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Yeah, right. Sure fuck off thing, bitch. Sure. And then we got this. The go-to gun that does everything. I can spray primer. I can spray epoxy. I can spray paint. I can spray clear coat. And it'll be a top-notch 100% quality paint job with this ugly piece of shit. Binks number seven that I paid $200 for in 1976. So the real situation is, is um, I've been doing this a long fucking time. I do things my way and I show you how to do it. Whether I use this or I use this. The real tool is not the tool that you buy. The tool is right here. This is the fucking tool. This is the fucking tool. The tool that you actually use to make the other tool fucking work. That's the concept of restoring vehicles or laying concrete or possibly, well, here's a tool, putting, putting a glove on. This is the tool. This is the tool right here. So the way that I replace a quarter panel is something that I'm showing you how to do. But everybody wants to be a professional. They want to tell you how to do it the right way because you're doing it the wrong way. And you should be using Clicos instead of tech screws. Or you should be doing a cut and butt uh, panel patch repair instead of making a pattern and doing it. Because that's the way they do it. And they expect me to do it the same fucking way. I ask myself now and again, why do I make videos? What do I do this for? Because it definitely ain't for the fucking money. It definitely ain't making money. You think I'm making money? You think I'm getting rich from making these bullshit fuck off videos for you? Do you see me with 67 million subscribers? And when I upload a video, I get 4 million hits a day. I am an average fuck-off Joe guy. Nobody's special. I work at least seven days a fucking week. And pay my fucking bills. And in the meantime, while I am paying my fucking bills, I am making delicious, wonderful, exotic videos for you to fucking watch. Someone that comes at you full force, okay, because that's what kind of guy I am, straightforward, I don't beat around the bush, I don't fucking lie, I don't cheat people, I'm, I'm an honest fucking guy, and I fucking do what I'm supposed to fucking do, to get the shit done and do it right in a manner that says you're going to have a car built that's better 
than it was from the fucking factory, bitch! And then sometimes, only sometimes, if I'm lucky, I might be able to take two or three hours off of my weekly schedule to go out and enjoy something that I love to do. That's not every day, though, okay? That's not every day. Uh, speaking of day, uh, look what I'm wearing. I'm not just wearing overalls and flannel shirts. I'm actually wearing my coat in my shop. It's 20 fucking degrees outside. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. It's fucking Saturday. And I got commentators out there telling me how to do the fucking job. This is how you should do it. This is the way it should be done. You're doing it wrong. Here's a good example. Here's a real good fuck off example. We got a car in our shop. When I say our or we, always remember one thing. I'm only talking about three fuck off people here. And the three people I'm talking about is me, myself, and I. That's it. So if you hear the word we or are, that's me, bitch. By myself. Um, speaking of by myself, everything that's been done to this fucking car, this car right here, 68 Fastback Mustang, has been done with these hands, which are tools, and this fucking brain, which is my toolbox. And nobody else has done nothing to this vehicle. I know this vehicle like the bottom of my fucking foot. I can blindfold myself and put this car together. I have done hundreds of fucking Mustangs. Am I a Mustang fanatic? Am I a Mustang fuck off freak? No, I'm not. No, I'm not a freak on Mustangs. It's a car. It's a job to me. Did I mention I've been doing this shit since I was about 13 years old? This is a job that pays my fucking bills. Am I proud of what I'm doing? Yes. Yes, I am. That I built this car with these tools, with this toolbox, and the vehicle will be somewhere, anywhere, for a very long time with my, or should I say our, me, myself, and I, print all over it. The door on this car right here, this is called an A-pillar. Why is that an A-pillar? Because it's the very first one in line. The next one, which is your door jam, would be called a B-pillar. If it was a four-door, four then it would be a C-pillar. Okay? So, this is called an A-pillar. I call it a hinge post. That's my version of this. Hinge post. This was completely crushed in. Bam! BAM! This whole section of this car right here was completely crushed in like a train ran into it. Somehow, some way, they diabolically hung the door on the car and welded the hinges to the hinge post to make the fucking door work. Using angle irons and flat steels and, and shims and bushings to make the motherfucker open and close. I can pretty much guarantee you with all the experience that I have that nobody in their right mind would have ever taken this car in and restored it to the magnitude that I have done. This car is a one year only door. I'm gonna have people out there that are gonna argue with me. I'm gonna have Mustang freaks that are gonna tell me I'm stupid, that I didn't measure it right, that I didn't do this and do that. Do you think I'm a fucking dumbass? Do you think that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing? Well, look at what we got here, people. Look at what we have here, me, myself, and I. What do we have here? My friend Pete, Mr. Fucking Asshole, Loudmouth Bitch, what is this? Well, let me show you what these are, people. Let's look at that. These are spec books. These are speculation books of, of exact, identical fucking specifications straight from the fucking factory. That is a build book and tells you every accurate, 100% authentic fucking measurement of anything that you might want to know book. That's what this is. It's called an assembly manual. Bitch! We got weld and seal and assembly manual here. Look at this. It tells all the specs and everything that needs to be done to the vehicle to get the accurate measurements and precise fucking build fit action fucking job labor intense bullshit that you might fucking need right there, bitch! You can always tell uh, how long somebody's been watching your videos uh, by the comments that that person leaves because can I go ahead and say this? Can I go ahead and say this? 
I have over 60 videos on this car uploaded on YouTube. I got a series on this that's got 44 fucking videos from start to where I'm at now. 44 on the Rustang. How to, how to restore a rusted car at your house or whatever the fuck it's named. So when someone leaves a comment and says, yeah, that door is exactly the same as the 67 and you should have took the right hand door off and did measurements from right hand to left hand and if you did that, the door would have fit right because you fucked up. You're wrong, bitch. You're fucking wrong. Do you really think a guy like me doing this all my fucking life is not going to remove a fucking door and check measurements from side to side? Do you really think that, dumbass? But then on the other hand, the guy's been watching my videos for 20 years. He's been a faithful follower since the day I started making videos. Liar! Liar! Pants on fire! I was actually speculating on showing you the wiring and all the intense labor forced action that I have placed on this vehicle um, just wiring the car up. But you know what? I'm not going to show that to you because you might leave a comment and say I'm doing it wrong. You might say that I put the wire harness in the wrong place and it should have went there instead of where I have it. Or, or this wire here that goes to the fog lights should have been routed that way, over here, down there, and over to the switch. You might be that guy that does that. Do I give a fuck about your comments? No, not really. Not really. It might sound like it, but not really. Because my videos are not for you. Because you're the professional and you know how to do everything. You are the guy that does it all. Uh, the next thing I know, if I show you some of my artwork here, beautiful artwork that it is, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not saying I'm a bragger. I'm not over here saying I'm the best art guy in the world. But I do make a living. I'm self-employed. I got to come up with ideas for my toolbox to put into my tools to make shit happen so I can pay my bills. But the next thing I know, if I make a video on my beautiful artwork and maybe advertise it to sell it, you might be that guy that says, that's wrong. I would have taken the picture from the other angle. I would have done this to the frame and that instead of this because you did it wrong. You used the wrong metal here, but over here it looks okay. But you should have done this to that. What kind of camera did you use? That doesn't look nice. Do you get the idea now? Do you understand what the fuck I'm talking about? It all comes down to this, people. One word. Jealousy. Loneliness, loneliness, jealousy by myself. All I can do is get on, on, on social media and, and slander people and, and, and tell them how to do it because I'm not out there doing it. I'm not off my ass and I'm not, uh, what do we say, off my ass. I'm not off my ass. Getting up at 5.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe 3.30 and, and planning my day out. I'm not that guy. So the only thing I can do is complain and bitch and, and tell him how he's doing it wrong. And he should do it this way instead of that way right there. That's there, right there. That's it. That's it. I feel sorry for people like this. I, I really do that it's a real shame that, that they have to go to the extreme to, to be jealous in a way of leaving comments of beautiful work, beautiful uh, work that is very proud to even own a piece of this type of work. And hang on your wall. This is beautiful, people. This is beauty. Do you even know what this is? This is, a, this is Monument Valley in the background. John Wayne country. I traveled there to take these pictures. Are the trucks normal? No. I actually photo, what do we call that? Uh, I don't even have the name for it because I'm not into fucking uh, uh, politically correct shit. I took the trucks pictures at another junkyard and I photoshopped them into this picture but you didn't know that because I didn't do it right bitch so just a word of wise from a person that is pretty smart and intelligent and, and has been around the block uh, more than um, around the world let me go ahead and tell you this I'm not a fucking dumbass the way that you do it is probably different than the way that I do it. And that's what makes the world turn. If we all did everything the exact identical same way and we all agreed on everything to be kosher and perfect and, and there wasn't evil and good in life and, and everybody was living in la-la land and, and it was all a big cartoon, 
then the world would be chaos. Of course I do it different than you. Of course you do it different than me. Instead of leaving comments of, you did that wrong, this is how I do it, and that's how it should have been done, you should say, wow, that's an awesome job. That looks great. I like the way you did it. This is how I do it. Do you see the difference there, people? Do you see the action that we're taking? We're getting along. I'm not hollering and screaming. I'm leaving a comment back to you on social media. And we're all enjoying what's going on. Social media. And that's the way the world should be. That's the way it should be.